You're now tuned into the number one college radio show in the country. The Goonies, broadcasting live in Marco Radio Studios. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy DJ Mad Maverin with Mark Francois and Deja. Collectively, we are known as the Goonies, and we got a special guest with us today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself for the people? Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Donnie Boy. Let's go. Donnie Boy Woods, man. Donnie Boy Woods, what's good? What's good? Yo, you pop in all the time, and I'm like, you know what? Let's get this man on the on on the air. Yeah, you know, sometimes you know you try to avoid situations, but I couldn't avoid it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I just play, I just play. There you go. So, oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into it, and I got to get a new drop because uh, our um, our previous uh, host, she is not with us. She didn't pass away, but uh, she has moved on. So, uh, I got to get a new a new it's drop fi- for finals, this. Finals, man. You know. I know. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Missed all the crazy gossip and news over the weekend? Well, don't worry. It's time for the weekend wrap-up with Nas. Not Nas. Not Nas, but me. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Nas, though. All right, so... um Man, a lot has happened over the weekend, over the past week, and uh, very, very interesting. Um, a couple things, uh, and I definitely want to talk about and see what you guys' opinion um, is. So, uh, first, let's get into it. One of the best albums that has been released this year, I believe, J. Cole. J. Cole's new album, um, it was called, what is it called? I forget the name. K.O.D. 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 Did you... Did you uh, hear it? The album? I only yeah. heard one song. Which song? But that was uh, ATM was, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ATM. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought the album was excellent. I liked it. Really? I liked really? it. Really? Okay. Yeah, it was a good album. I've been having that album in rotation like the past couple of days. So yeah, his, it's a dope album. You gotta be in a certain mood. That's what everybody's saying. Yeah, to play yeah, J yeah. Cole. Yeah, because yeah. it could take you down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like yeah. you can't play it right before uh, you go to the club. You just, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, that's not a club. That's you gotta like, be like an introspective. Yeah, like, that's this. It's not a club album. Although uh, the one song, Motivate. Motivate is tough. Pretty, yeah, that was. Yeah, cool. like, motivate, wow. motivate, motivate, hey, motivate. Hey, hey. You don't know that? I don't remember. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's still trying to recover. Uh, yeah. Trying to... <laughs> I don't remember that, Jay. I just remember when he was talking about cash. Count it up. Count okay. it up. Count it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Is there a. Do you guys see? Okay, no, that's my headphones. All right, so yeah, definitely uh, cop that album. It did great sales, but apparently Post Malone's uh, Post album Malone's beat album is out, nice. And it beat out J. Cole streaming. It uh, beat out J. Cole streaming. Which, I mean, it's a, it, there's mad tracks on there. I was like, dang, this show ain't still going. So he yeah, put in so work. Saying, right, yeah, he yeah, put in work with yeah. his. Now, you guys, and Post then he Malone fans? one song with it. I wasn't until I heard this album. Okay. Wow. What I about mean, you? I, I'm kind of. I'm still on the fence. Like you know, it, it, he got some good bangers, but like, I don't know. yeah. I'm I mean, kinda, it's, 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 I'm just kind of. I'm a skeptic, man. I'm a skeptic. Yeah, okay, I okay. was too because it's just like you don't know if he's a real artist. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. you, you got to hear the album, this album, and then you be like, oh, he he is a real artist. Yeah. Okay. He got this, and then he got a couple songs where he's just like singing for real. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I'm oh, just yeah, gonna so. sing. I'm gonna put like he got this one joint with like a uh, acoustic guitar behind it. Yeah. Okay. And it's like not no heavy eight oh eights or none of that. It's, it's just him straight. singing with Oh right. smart. Hmm. Now what's your opinion on J. Cole's statement saying that um uh I guess yeah basically white culture has snatched hip hop. Mm. Um speaking of post Malone, now do you guys feel as though that is an issue or do you feel as though it's like listen if it doesn't matter if you're black white brown whatever you can do rap if you're good and i didn't know post malone there. was white you yeah, really, did really? no uh, you never first, seen a picture yeah. of him no first yeah, time i heard yeah. his uh, first time i heard of his album i actually was this morning on mm-hmm. the way here wow okay what? yeah so yeah, yeah yeah he's straight straight flower yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay well with, uh, with a, like but he he has that um he has that that uh, he has that. It's like I don't want to say whiny, swag, like a, like a scrum. I don't know how to describe it. He 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 has he has he has some soul though. I ain't gonna say. He, yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Oh, he yeah, has yeah, yeah. he has yeah, a seat yeah. at the table though. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Now I don't know about seat at the table. Oh, you don't know about seat at the table. At the table. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have like uh-huh. pipes to be at the table, man. You gotta yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what, now, what is you guys' opinions on that? Do you think that there is a thing as culture? I guess you say culture vulture. Okay. Um, uh, when it comes culture. to hip hop, I, I mean, uh, 
I just think of it this way. Without, and I don't want to start. Before I say this, I want to be clear. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with interracial music. Okay. What I mean by that, I'm okay with different people of different cultures doing music because that's what, you know, that's mm-hmm. someone's passion. At the same time, when it comes to hip hop, if you take out and remove uh, a lot of the colored people who contributed to it, mm-hmm. there would be no such thing as hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I feel that it's been, I wouldn't say stolen, I wouldn't say taken, but I would say removed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, like I said, adding people in there, but mm-hmm. when it comes to like true, True artistry. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like a lot of these uh, people who take their time out of it are getting recognized. Okay, you know what I mean, yeah. like, and it's kind of being pushed by a lot of these labels. Uh, you know, it's entertainment, and I understand a lot of people don't know how to separate entertainment from reality. But mm-hmm. at the same time, we gotta realize that without most people, it wouldn't hip hop wouldn't exist. You know, what yeah, I mean? so, yeah, yeah. Without the so the, his issue is basically the recognition and the respect to the old heads or the people that started it. I feel that. I feel mm-hmm. that one hundred percent. But what I think is this music, so and it's made yeah, for right, everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean. yeah. yeah, yeah. I um, huh. It's interesting because, like, so and like you know, putting on the record, I could care less if you're a black, white, Asian. Right. If you have skills, mm-hmm. go ahead and rap. Go ahead right. and do it if right. you're good. Um, but it's it's interesting because now with that being said. I also see the industry, like, for example, country. Mm. Um, I now, once again, I'm, I'm ignorant with the culture of country music okay. uh, because I don't like country music. That makes sense. I, yeah, yeah. I just don't like it's. It's funny because I like bluegrass. Like okay. the band, and then there's this group called uh, Iron and Wine. Yeah, I've heard of and yeah. oh yo, I like I rock out to them all <laughs> the time yeah, yeah, yeah. because and they have this rhythm, uh, this rhythmic um, pattern, and the banjo, and then their mm. drums. Uh, it not just, all flows together. Yeah, it all flows together, and you can hear like some. I could hear somebody really sampling Iron and Wine. But anyway, mm. with that being said, when it comes to country music, it seems as though uh, minorities aren't that ex- Accepted mm. with country music, that makes sense. and that's interesting because I don't. I, I want to say the feeling that I get. Not saying that I'm right, right. Um, but the feeling that I get is like they're saying this is ours. This is our mm. music. Right. You know, this right. is what, and we're holding on to it. Now, when it comes to rap and hip hop, I think that we're more. And when I say we, I mean the culture within that started black, um, right, right. black African Americans, and uh, just the culture. I think we're more accepted to. Uh, we're more yeah, open to letting right. you know what I mean. Like you, you see yeah. with Eminem. You know what mm-hmm. I mean, uh, and he's uh, the Beastie Boys. You yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Vanilla so, Ice. You know, it's Vanilla just, it, it goes on and on. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Now, Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. That was before my time, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah. like, it was so before my time too. I just, yeah, yeah. Just, that was not before your time. Vanilla Ice. Ice Ice Baby. Like, uh, going into wait, going I'm into saying go. before my time. Yeah, that was before kid. my time. No, you were probably kidding. That was not before your time. You were probably I didn't know anything about Vanilla Ice. So well, you were just late to the party. Right, right. But. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, yeah. the thing that you brought up is, and this is what I, I'm concerned with, our culture specifically, mm-hmm. uh, uh, blacks, African Americans. Like, And it's not wrong, like I said, it's not wrong with involving people in what you have, but when you don't have a, a base for your own self, then... You know, you're kind of lost. Like, you know, like you said, you know, if you look at all the other cultures, like the Asian culture, the Indian culture, the Hispanic culture, they all have a foundation within themselves. Yeah. You know, and yeah, they, they allow people to partake, but they don't allow them to take over and make make executive decisions. On <laughs> yeah. That they, you know what I mean? Like that. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing that I was talking about. Like, yeah. you know, we got to figure out our base and start making decisions, like our own decisions, because mm-hmm. right now we're letting other people do it for us. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we get mad because they're not doing what we want them to do, but they're the ones, you know. Yeah, yeah, and like, decisions. And, and it was the issue when uh, it was probably a couple months ago with uh, people were saying that Bruno Mars mm-hmm. was like, oh, he's still in the culture and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. is he really? I mean, he's not. Uh, he's not. I mean, he, Jay and Dame Dash been making executive decisions and been telling y'all yeah, yeah. From, the from the beginning to hold man. it, like to let's man. keep it, yep. let's like to make men. your own decisions with your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I think that Prince been telling y'all too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he has. Um, and, and you see, you know, and he he been he was. Did yeah. you see the tour that when he before he? Um, well, I think he got murdered, but 
before he died, you know, he did it. He was doing a private tour. I mean, he was selling out, mm-hmm. and it was just on these small venues. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And all yeah. of his, you know, his fans and stuff. And he would, he would always tell people, you know, hang on to your music and do it yourself. It's mm-hmm. harder that way. It mm-hmm, is, of mm-hmm. course, if you don't have the resources. But the reward is such, such better. Such yeah, better. yeah. And I saw. Uh, I didn't go through the article, but I saw. Oh um, no, you got to balance that reward thing because. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It's like you, well, you, get, got Cardi you, sell, B. you sell a little bit like to a label or whatever, mm-hmm. and then like all of a sudden you on like a Pepsi commercial, you on a yeah, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. But you, you choose mean? to do that though. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to balance how you view the reward I because mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, Chance the Rapper was able to be able to do that where he get the whole reward and still have mm-hmm. full control. Right. But but we don't know what like, was backing Chance though. That's like, true. Do that you, is like, true. You're right about that. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, for example, if you want to do something independently, you can right now go in the studio, make a mixtape, put it out, right? Yeah. But the yeah. only thing you have right now is your followers, say, on Instagram, Facebook, or anything like that. But I I think Chance had a huge, like, I think he had yeah, some type. Because it wasn't his dad, big. like, in politics yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... His dad could probably help him out. You know what I mean? Like it's all Resources. about who you know. Yeah, like yeah, I don't yeah. think, I don't, I don't know if he started from scratch. I can't say. I'm not saying he started from scratch. What I'm saying is, when you make the decision whether to stay independent or go uh, with a major I mean. label, yeah. you have to balance your reward, mm-hmm. benefit, reward. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Sense. Plus, how much work you got to put into it. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know for me personally, if a label is gonna offer me a million dollars, I'm gonna say sign me up. Let's do it. Yeah. Even with a 360 deal. Well, I, son, uh, I don't know about uh, 360. I don't know, man. It, see, when you get to a point, <laughs> it depends on where you that, at in your that's life. True. Like, right I, that's like, true. like yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean, yeah. at. The, at at this point, like... Oh, we got to... Hold on. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Sorry. For me, my house just burned down. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So... And it's people out in the struggle. All right, hold on. Let's get this phone call. Mm-hmm. What's going on? You are listening to the Goonies. What's up? Yo, what's up, Goonies? What's what going time on? Is, <laughs> what? what time is the Star Wars uh, movie going on this Friday? The Star Wars movie. Uh, That was... Let's see. This Friday. Ooh, is it yeah. this Friday? Yes, the fourth. Yes. The fourth. From, this Friday. Yes, from six to ten p.m. in the Science Center. Six at, to ten p.m. Thank you, sir. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, do you want to chime in with our Who viewpoint in music? Yeah, we didn't even get the name. <laughs> I think they Hello? want to hug up. They just yes. want, oh oh yes. Yeah. So who are we talking to? Uh, Kylo Ren. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> so. Um, he didn't say Tyler. He said a, a character from this movie. I'm not a Star Wars. Fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, so neither am I. I don't know too much about Star Wars. Of course you do. No. But have you, so have you been listening in? Can we get your opinion on something? Yeah. Okay. So do you know anything about a 360 deal with record labels? No, I don't, man. No. Okay. Okay. Well, what's your favorite? What's your favorite artist that you like to listen to? Or what's your favorite genre of music? Shoot, I like house music. I nice. know it's not your type of thing, man. But no, we play house I music like, too. I love house music. Deep bass. Yeah, I love house. DMB. Music. Yeah. Yeah. See, you can go okay. on the whole list. You know? Well, make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, make sure you call in next week, and uh, or actually, you can find us on Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook. And okay. yes, and send us a track list because I do need some new house music. Oh, I went yeah, to this club in yeah, Denver. Yeah, definitely. I love it. I love it. The bass, the yeah. patterns. I love it. So yeah. yeah, thanks for calling in, bro. And make sure you All go right. on and send us uh, like go on our DMs and send us some of your favorite tracks for house, and we'll try to get that okay. on for you. All Goonies right, take for it life, easy. Man. Oh. To the Goonies. <laughs> love it, love it. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what were we saying about the three? I lost my what whole I was train of saying is, What I was saying is, it depends on the point in your life you're at because sometimes you could be at a state in your life where you really, really, really need money. Mm, that's and true. if a person is like, yo, it's, it's any type of negotiation, it's mm-hmm. better to negotiate from a position of power. Okay. But when mm-hmm. you're in a position of weakness and somebody's like, well, I got you we with could, this. Right. Sometimes you can you be might, like, yeah, I can see that. That's going to okay. get can, me and my whole family out of this crazy. I can, I can see yeah. that. I can see that. I can see what you're saying. 
I just my thing is like. It's yeah, it's, 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 it's a sticky situation. <laughs> it is. It's it a little sticky because, like, I, I know a guy. Um, well, here's a, here's a prime example. My, um, I have some homies uh, who moved out to LA a few uh, like yeah, about shout a them month out. ago. Uh, yeah. Shout them out to uh, Dirty Gang. Uh, it's a new upcoming rap group. We can actually check them out on um, Apple Music, Spotify. Actually, uh, if they got any edited music, we can uh, play them too. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely send you guys some stuff for that too. Uh, they're, you know, right now they're starting off independent. And they, you know, they tell me it was like if a guy, if someone approaches me from Capital, like, hey, we got three sixty, they take it. You know, they they said they'll think about it. You know, mm-hmm. because like right now they have they have the following from you know because they're from Ohio, so like they can they could try to do it on their own, mm-hmm. but it's not gonna be as you know it's not gonna blow up as big as you know like you chance chance to rapper or you got Cardi B. You it's know, gonna take some people, time. You know, yeah, some time. Like, yeah, and that's the that's the that's the question. Are you willing to? To take time, mm-hmm. or do you want it like you know? And Jay talks about that in that four four four. He t- he talks yeah, sure with he does, uh, OJ. Yeah. yeah, so you gotta Dang. you gotta be able to take that. You know, it, it depends. And I think really, Ooh, even wait. with that three sixty, I think you have to learn how to manage your money too. That's like, true. Yeah, you're right. You have that. to learn how to manage yeah, your true. money, how you're doing it, and then just can, wait it out. Yep. And then you can put some money aside, and then when you're done, you can already. Yep. Phew. There you go. There you go. So, all right, and now the next. Uh, the next issue that I want to talk about, um, so I would just start off from the base. So you have Kanye, mm-hmm. very uh, voicing his opinion very strongly about um, his viewpoint with President Trump. Okay, is this, is this the new wave with the glasses? Should I switch my glasses? No, you, guys... you should not. No, don't. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's I can do red. It's a vibe. I can do red. <laughs> it's you, a got, vibe. you got it in black. He got, got it in like the turtle, <laughs> the right. turtle shell, tortoise shell. Okay, yes. all right, all right. So I can do like red. And we all just... all right. I think that's... So the whole time we've been talking, you've just been like, yo, you got some pretty cool glasses. <laughs> like, uh, I think I'm, I'm about a... to get some new glasses. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, the wait. I got to catch this wave real quick. Retro, I like retro glasses, but um, yeah, yeah. so uh, <laughs> so uh, have you guys been following up on Kanye with him voicing his opinion, making this noise about how much he supports yeah. Trump? What did he so, say? What did he say? Basically, he supports Trump. He did a freestyle wearing he... the uh, MAGA hat, mm-hmm. uh, Make America Great Again, oh, that's right, yep, with the hat. The freestyle was kind of dope, um, and he's wearing the hat. So, what is your because? I don't it's, have an opinion because he didn't give me. That. He didn't give me what he said. He basically he, said he, supports he basically Trump, supports but, but why? Trump. Basically, uh, he but doesn't why? Say. He doesn't say. He doesn't say. And see, that's the thing. That's the thing that I, 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 I feel like Kanye's in a sticky situation mm-hmm. because look at the environment that he's around. You know, I'm not. Do you think he's in the sunken place? <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> the my, Get Out movie. Listen, hey, listen, I, yeah. I didn't say it. But, <laughs> I mean, I think, uh, and Kanye, you know, Kanye's always been kind of. Uh, shaky. Abstract. Yeah, he's just yeah. been. Because um, uh. first you have <laughs> his saying of, you know, President Bush doesn't like black people, mm-hmm. or doesn't yep. care about black people. Yep. And but he now turns around. turns around and now you're agreeing with Trump. I mean, when you think about it, when he was quote unquote broke mm-hmm. and he owed people money, uh, he got bailed out. Mm-hmm. You know, and like you, like you said, when when you make that 360 deal, when you make that deal, when you sign that contract. You know, you give you're really just giving yourself to that person, you know, so they can really put you in situations where, hey, listen, I need you to, mm-hmm. you know, and the more people that support him, the more people are going to, you know, think about it, it's Kanye. A lot of people yeah. follow Kanye. You so know, maybe he's they, trying to make a run for president for. Uh, he's like the one you love to hate. I'm just saying, for, he, did, he did say that he was going to run in 2020. That's when but, he not as, it. but not as a Democratic. Uh, he did say he was going to run for president. That's what he said. He's yeah. probably going to run as a, as a Republican. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I personally don't. I, mean, I I personally like whether you're Democrat or Republican. I could care less because yeah, it's, really it's like you take right, yeah, exactly, you take yeah. it's like pick your poison. Honestly, yeah, yeah, when it comes yeah. to politics, mm-hmm. no matter who, even with Obama, mm-hmm. you know. It, so and, and yes, it was historical. You know, having the first black president. Yeah, course, yeah. But um, when it comes to and like Charlemagne was saying, like I think we give these celebrities way too much credit mm-hmm. for their opinion. And it's mm-hmm. just like, oh my gosh, why? You know, Kanye. It's like he's just one person. Right. It's and you like, know why we, that is? Mm-hmm. People don't know how to separate entertainment from reality. Mm-hmm. They get caught up in a lot of these uh, 
I want to call them fictional, but mm-hmm. like it is kind of fiction because a lot of it's scripted. Yeah, you know, a lot yeah. of people know what they're going to say and how they're going to say it. You know, whether it's TV or radio. Mm-hmm. I mean, and a lot of people don't know how to separate the two. Mm-hmm. You know, you could. That's what entertainment is. Just there to entertain. Yeah, it's not yeah. there to something that you. Oh man, I gotta. This is my reality. No, you gotta. Be able mm-hmm. to separate that, and a lot of people don't know how to do that. You yeah. know? I mean, I feel like it's a it's a little bit different when it comes to hip hop because yeah, yeah, yeah. hip hop is like a lot of it is like you should be saying the truth and mm-hmm. your story, yep. and this is your perspective for real. Right. So it's not like I'm just putting these words together to just give you a show. Water, mm-hmm. yeah. But it's like if I'm not giving you my whole soul, then you really there's nothing to see anyway because mm-hmm. that's that's the nature of hip hop. Yep. So yeah. it's like when somebody comes into the political game and they are trying to like make waves there, mm-hmm. they still got to come from a perspective of I'm giving you my true feelings, right. I'm giving you my soul. Mm-hmm. So when like, and then I don't know, man. It's like if if Kim K was to run for president, then I could say, oh, what does she know about politics? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, crazy. Yeah, but Kanye, from what I know of Kanye West, anything that he tried to get into, mm-hmm. he like engulfed himself in that culture. When yeah. he tried to get into the sneaker game, mm-hmm. he, he, he like he went yeah. all mm-hmm. the way into where it was even hurting his musical career. Mm. And when he wanted to do a fashion thing, he went all the way in. Yep. So when he wanted to do this president thing, not saying I'm a vote for him, but. I know he's gonna try to put his whole heart into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. I, I personally, my honest opinion, that Trump one, alliance may be a plan part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but does the, the I would fact, vote for Ti though. Yeah. Ti for president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my opinion. Okay, one. Yes, you're entitled to your own opinion. Two. Um, I believe there are some things that I do agree with Trump. Some things I don't agree with Trump. Right. Um, you gotta watch the Rapture joint. The TI's uh, I watched it. episode episode three, I think it is. Yeah, I watched that, that. Is that on Netflix? Yeah, yeah, on Netflix. What's it yeah, called? Yeah. Said Rapture. Rapture. Rapture? Ooh, yeah, it's my. tough. It has Logic Nas, uh, Dave East, a boogie with the hoodie, like all documentaries oh, on yeah. all of them. So oh, it's man. tough. Yeah. So I personally, so I like I understand. Um, now is. Trump presidential, I think he moves and acts certain ways that you wouldn't expect. It's like, come on, you shouldn't yeah. do it that way, but he doesn't care. Right. When you're, you know, you have money and you're a billionaire for a certain amount of years and a mm-hmm. multimillionaire for a certain amount of years, um, I think that you get used to saying what's on your mind, how you feel. Right. And yeah. the way you present it, you, your heart may not be... In the right m- place. It, 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 it might... Or, or it might be in a place of of you're being honest and you're speaking, mm, how, but okay. I think you're you're the way you present it. You don't understand how offensive it can okay. be. Are we talking about Donald someone. Trump? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. con artist. Like, what well, all that you're saying yeah, about yeah. No, no, no. Him not me knowing me he's I mean, offensive. No, <laughs> he's I, I conning mean, the American people. But, he's straight no, but pulling listen, wool listen, over you your eyes. But you can't. <laughs> but anyway, I, we can't get into politics that deep before going into the next segment. Oh yeah. Well, no, no. The next, the next one is actually the the podcast. So we can like try. But. Um, I, I think that uh, no, I think that there is a culture that does not understand the general public with different races and what's not. For example, you have what went viral. The I, th- I believe it was Penn State girls who um, were saying the N word. Uh, oh, yeah, about that. yeah, yeah. It was like a softball, t- a volleyball so, uh, team, a softball or volleyball Something team, like that, and they I were mean, saying yeah. the N word. And the the thing is, well, it's being said in music, and it's being said, right, right. You know, but I think that. It's like, for example, if you go over to China and they tell you do not do this because it is very disrespectful mm-hmm. to their culture, you're not going to do it. You're not going to make a joke about That's it and things like that. About but so now it's like, about, so now you have you know? African Americans who say we say we are using this word in a positive light, but no, it is not right for mm. a certain culture or other cultures to say it unless right. we say it's okay. And mm. it's how you do it. The understanding of using the N word. Okay. I don't like the word period. Oh, well, yeah, but then in the, within the black culture, you have within you know, the, the ones black that, culture, yeah, I don't like the word either. You, no, no, yeah. within the black culture, you have those who don't like it and do do like it. So Janelle, uh, Janelle Monet said it perfectly. Um, she was saying that uh, basically, you know, like if you go to another co- 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 uh, country, you respect their culture, and that's our right. culture. But it seems like for me, when it comes to that, I think not all of. Um, and I'm not even going to, you know, single out uh, uh, white America, 
Um, but uh, other cultures, sometimes when it comes to that word, it's like, why can't us as African Americans say this is our culture? This is what we found mm-hmm. find disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Please respect it. Like, but it, see, that's it, the thing, you, though. That's that's the thing. Like, we we don't. Ha- I don't. I'm gonna say we don't have it. We we lost our connection to that. Mm-hmm. You know. Like we and that's and that's one thing that I'm, I'm trying to work on with my family, my friends. Like we need to come up with something for us, mm-hmm. not for nobody else. Because I'm, I'm tired of like always, not and there's not wrong with involving people what you yeah. have, but yeah. like our own foundation. Like we mm-hmm. don't have that. We, it's not something that brings us all. Well, for some so reason, cool. yeah. That's so for, cool. <laughs> no, no, no. For some, saying, if, yeah. Because like, you know for some saying? reason, like, for some, for some reason, you know. within America, it seems, in my point of view, mm-hmm. and not, I'm not saying everybody's racist. I right, understand right, right. how all that. But what I'm saying is, in my point of view, the culture of America, mm-hmm. it to me, it feels like. Um, us as African Americans, when we try to do our own thing and say this is for us, yeah, we're down. looked at. We get shut down because we're looked at. Yeah, well, yeah. isn't it supposed to be for everybody? Well, everybody this and this, and this. but yet you have Italians who have Italian stores. You yep. have uh, Indians, the Chinese. Have Indians, you have yeah. Indians, mm-hmm. and they say this, and you have the Jews who they you know this is our thing. They're right. like, and it's real. Like it's like the you have. You have um, communities where it's a Jewish-based community, right. and we're like, we love everyone, we but we, we we're only accepting us. Right. Exa- yep. Same with Italians. Same. Mm-hmm. So, but then when it comes to the black people, when it comes to black African Americans, we're looked at, and not from the whole country, just you know, so a, a group, group of people. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A group. we're looked at as, oh well, this because it's like, oh well, why are you doing this? You're isolating everyone, and mm-hmm. you used to be segregated, and you didn't like it, so why are you segregating us from mm-hmm. intervening? You know, so it's like, bro, can we get our own? Right, yeah, <laughs> like, it. that's it. Can I we? Mean, like, it's, it's like we don't. It's, it's no hard feelings, but right. can we claim something that are our, our that, own, that's yep. our own and just leave it at that? That's it. So I don't know. I think that's a good uh, that that's a good topic to talk about. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, it's like opinions about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, it just it kind of frustrates me. And then it's like you know, who, and then who are you to tell us what we should what have we should have and what we should right, yeah. you know like mm-hmm. that. Okay, but anyway, with that being said, <laughs> I think Kanye is doing all of this to promote and to get back into the media because he's been quiet for like yeah, three, yeah. four years. Yeah. I think he's doing all this three, to promote. Four mm-hmm. years, yeah, he's in a way, been, he has. He's been kind of going because the last, bit, I think, the bit. last time his interview was on like the Breakfast Club or or Sway or, or something. And that was Ellen. Wasn't or, that? Uh, was it? Well, that, was, that was probably after. I'm trying to think of some after thing. Yeah, it might um, have been Sway. Can you put your phone on mute? Actually, we have <laughs> well, we have someone that's trying to call in. Hold on, I gotta. I'm trying to put the number up there, and don't forget the number is six one or two one five six one nine seven three six six. And you got it. Okay, okay. So we'll. Donnie we'll, had a dip. Donnie had the dip. That's a that's a song. Donnie had the dip 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 dot dot dot. Um, but anyway, to close that one off, uh, I believe that um, Kanye is doing this to put himself back into the media, whether it's negative or positive, um, uh, and to promote his upcoming projects because he has a lot dropping, which is dope. But I think this is his way of finessing his way back into the media by doing outlandish things that knows that he knows is going to get um, an opinion. Controversy, controversy, yeah. And he knows I mean, because people want to be like, I, I want to hear this album now. What is he going to say? I have no. I mean, that record. I didn't really like the record. I like Ti's Ti on the record. And was what was the record dope. called? I forget. It was Ti and Kanye. It just dropped this week. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for it then. I gotta, gotta definitely look for it. Um. All right. Well, that concludes our weekend wrap up. <laughs> 